at a high school party, a teenage girl notices that she is bleeding through her mouth and rushes to the bathroom. She witnesses the horror as several of her teeth fall apart. She panics when someone asks her to open the door and escapes through the window. Is it too much candy or something else? Let's find out why her body is falling apart. Anna lives in an isolated cabin home with a man she refers to as Daddy. Daddy scares her about the outside world by instilling a fear of a wildling that eats children, as she is advised to stay locked in her attic room. He teaches her how to read and takes care of her like his own daughter. As a meal, Anna is only allowed to eat vegetables and she never has seen meat in her entire life. One night, while she is in her attic room, Anna hears Daddy talking to someone. Filled with curiosity after hearing a foreign voice, she tries to open the door, but ends up getting an electric shock from the doorknob and passes out. The next day, she wakes up to see Daddy by her side, who says that the electric shock is to prevent wildlings from getting into Anna's room. When Anna asks who he was talking to, he reminds her that they are the only humans left in the world, so he wasn't talking to anyone. Daddy then hypnotizes her with a match to suppress all her curiosity about the outside world and feeds her more stories. One day, he gives her a hamster for her birthday that becomes her best friend in the isolated house. When the hamster dies, Daddy explains the concept of death to Anna and assures her that the hamster is in a good place. As the years pass, Anna has nightmares of the wildlings that reside in the woods according to Daddy. She grows up into adolescence, and when Daddy finds some blood in her bed, it distresses him for some reason. He begins injecting her with an estrogen-controlling medicine drug in hopes of suppressing her maturity. This puts Anna in severe danger as her health starts declining over time. She asks him to end her pain, and realizing that there is no other way anymore, Daddy attempts to kill her, but fails to do that to his little girl. He instead resorts to taking his own life in front of Anna. Anna now wakes up in a hospital and runs off after getting overwhelmed at the sight of the outside world. The bright world mesmerizes her as the doctors take her back inside the hospital and bind her. She meets Sheriff Ellen, who releases her from the binds and reveals that she was the one who found her after the neighbors reported hearing a gunshot at their house. Much to Anna's relief, Daddy has survived and is being treated in the ICU. Ellen learns about her captivity and the estrogen control medicine she was given by Daddy for so long. Later, a senior doctor recommends that they send Anna to a psychiatric hospital while her DNA test results are pending. But Ellen is against the idea of locking her up again. Sheriff Roger also suggests that they should let the doctor decide what's best for Anna. But Anna startles everyone as she demands to stay with Ellen. Ellen agrees and takes her to her house where she lives with her brother, Ray. Ellen gives Anna a hamburger, but Anna only eats the meat part of it. Mmm, hamburgers. While hanging out with Ray, Anna learns truths about the real world that are not what Daddy has taught her, including procreation. Anna also starts going to school, where she has more interaction with kids her own age. Although some of them look weirdly at her and whisper about her strange habits, like walking barefoot. Well. That's kind of what school is. As she is finally allowed to embrace puberty, Anna starts developing exceptional hearing abilities and has visions of wildlings in the distant mountains with northern lights. She frequently visits the library to read more about the secrets of nature that were hidden from her. One such day, she gets out of the library and finds Ray being bullied by two boys. They punch him in the gut and Anna takes revenge for him. Later, while wandering around, she notices a deer that runs off as soon as it sees her. Anna can't resist the urge and chases it with exceptional speed, despite her immobile captivity. She soon befriends a wild man known as the Wolfman, who prevents her from triggering a hunter's trap. Later, while reading more about the wildlife, Anna notices that her fingernails are starting to turn black. 
Back home, Ellen teaches her to clean up after herself and discloses that the DNA test results have shown that Daddy is not her biological father. Is uh, anyone here surprised at that? One night, Ray tries to help Anna with her homework, but Anna prefers staring at the stars and talking about the northern lights. Soon, she notices some lights flickering in the distance and asks what is going on. Ray points out that it is a high school party organized by a girl named Jen. Anna remembers that Jen had invited her earlier and the two decide to attend. After sipping some drinks, Anna starts feeling overwhelmed. Soon, she shares a kiss with Ray that is cut short as she starts to bleed from her mouth. She rushes to the bathroom and discovers that her teeth are falling out. Ray asks her to open the door, and in a panic, she escapes to the bathroom window. While walking through the woods, she is confronted by Lawrence, the bully from before, whom she hallucinates to be a wildling. He attempts to assault her, but Anna bites off his neck with her bare teeth, killing him. After realizing that she has killed a human, she runs away and goes to her old house, where she tries to sleep in her old bed. The next morning, she cleans herself and changes into new clothes before heading to the city. Ellen soon finds her wandering around and takes her back to the house. She inquires about where she was all night, but Anna keeps her silence. Sheriff Roger soon arrives, reporting that Lawrence has been missing all night and wants to talk to Anna as they both didn't come home from the party, but Ellen doesn't let him talk to her. She again tries to talk to Anna and asks her about Lawrence, but only gets silence in return as Anna ignorantly paints her nails. Ray arrives and wants to speak with Anna alone. Anna still keeps her silence, but Ray soon finds out about Anna's missing teeth and goes to tell Ellen so they can take her to the hospital. But Anna takes this chance to run away into the woods. She meets Wolfman, who gives her some meat and watches her devour it like a wild animal. He examines her nails and teeth, which surprises him as he reveals that Anna is a wildling. Uh, anyone see that coming too? He notes that she will find her mother's body in the cave nearby, as the local hunters purged the wildlings 16 years ago, killing every last one of them. She finds a skull with a bullet hole in the cave and holds it close to get a glimpse of Daddy during the purge. 16 years ago, Daddy killed her mother, but was not able to kill the wildling infant, Anna, who looked just like a human. So he secretly raised her as his own daughter in hopes that he would be able to prevent her from transforming. Anna goes to the hospital to meet Daddy, but fails to approach him as he notices her at the door. Back at home, Ellen reads the report of Lawrence's murder as the police have found Anna's dress near his body. Anna arrives home and hugs Ellen in a desperate attempt for comfort. But when Ellen notices her fingernails turning into claws, she handcuffs her and Anna gets arrested for Lawrence's murder. In the lockup, Anna notices that her teeth are getting replaced by sharp ones as she is transforming into a wildling. Later, Daddy visits her in the hospital while Roger keeps an eye on them. He convinces Anna to inject herself with a substance that will end all the suffering. Anna almost obeys, but then stops and asks why he saved her and never told her about her reality. Daddy gets emotional and says that it was the biggest mistake of his life before leaving. The next day, Ellen comes to Anna's cell and notices her hiding under the bed. Concerned, she goes in to check on her, but Anna locks her inside and escapes. Outside, Ray is waiting in his sister's car, but Anna forces him to drive off towards the woods. She gets out of the car and flees into the woods. Surprisingly, Ray follows her into the woods, despite her telling him that she is a wildling. At night, Ray lights a fire to save Anna from the cold after she takes a swim in the lake. The two embrace each other, and Ray feels hair growing on Anna's back. Um, that would be it for me. Anna assures him that she is not going to hurt him, and the two get intimate. On the other side, Roger and Daddy decide to gather their hunters to go after Anna. The next morning, Anna and Ray get chased by the police dogs as the hunters shoot at them. Ray ends up getting shot in the arm, but the two still manage to escape by swimming across a river. 
Anna now decides to leave Ray behind as he isn't safe with her. Ray meets his sister and tells her about what happened. In the following months, Anna adapts her wild ways of living while going through the painful process of transformation. One morning, Ray notices Roger filling a large number of gas cans and realizes that the hunters have found out Anna's whereabouts. He alerts Ellen about this and she begins her separate search in hopes of saving the girl from them. As the hunt begins, the now completely transformed Anna manages to kill multiple hunters. Ellen also arrives to witness the horror and meets Roger, who threatens her to leave them at their job. Anna arrives and kills Roger in front of Ellen, who gets scared and points a gun at her. But Anna shows her the pregnant belly, revealing that she is carrying Ray's child before running away. Well, that escalated quickly. The hunters set the woods on fire in an attempt to trap Anna. Daddy soon finds her in a cave and sedates her with a tranquilizer. He doesn't want to repeat the same mistake, so he tries to perform a C-section on Anna. But her motherly instincts arise as she overpowers the sedation and kills him before collapsing to the ground. Upon waking up, she finds Wolfman stitching her wounds and he helps her recover. While searching for Anna again, Ellen and Ray notice her from a distance and the three bid their silent goodbyes as Anna runs off. A while later, Anna is finally under the northern lights with her baby. The film ends as Anna hears the howl of another wildling echoing through the forest. So what are your thoughts on this one? And what do you think Daddy could have done to avoid so much violence? Let us know in the comments below. And if you'd like to watch more from Movie Shortens, please subscribe to the channel to get notified about when our next video is posted. Thanks for watching.